Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to perform demo for a case cluster creation. We will create one cluster with the basic configuration step by step. All the steps we will perform from the Azure portal. There are various ways to create a Azure AKS cluster. We can create a AKS cluster with the help of Terraform. We can create AKS cluster with the PowerShell. So here in this demo, we are going to create cluster from the portal. So let's jump into the portal and let's get started. So before we begin, let me explain you. I mean, I'm using a free trial version. During this free trial version, we have some limitations like we cannot increase the quota for the nodes queue. So we will use accordingly. So let's get started. To create a case cluster, first we need to go to the global search here you can enter kubernetes yeah here we go kubernetes services now click on kubernetes service so once you click on kubernetes service here in the left side you will get an option to create so click on this create under this if you can see multiple ways so first is the automatic kubernetes cluster which is in preview mode so now in this video we are going to select Kubernetes cluster this one now click here so we are on a case cluster creation so let's understand here I mean this is the resource group you can create a new resource group so let's let me create or uh, let me see whether I have yeah I already have a resource group called a case demo so I am going to use this resource group for a case cluster creation so now here cluster details so if you can see under the cluster preset configurations we have options called dev test so let me show you the options which we have we have options called production standard dev test production economy and production enterprise if you can see production standard it is used for best for the most application which serve the production traffic dev test is best for developing new workload or testing purpose production economy it will serve the traffic cost conscious and this production enterprise so this will you know it will you it will serve production traffic with rigorous permission and hardened security for today's video we are going to select dev and test because we are going to create a demo so let me select dev and test here Kubernetes cluster name we need to define a case cluster name here so I'll put the cluster a case cluster name here let me put some so here I will mention that a case my a case a case cluster demo region you can select as per your convenient I'll, I'll keep the Canada center availability zone available you can use availability zone for high availability I'll keep the setting as it is pricing tier. I'll keep the default a case version you can choose the a Kubernetes version for your cluster see uh, right now it's a default is 130 six if you can see we have a multiple now uh, see there are new AKS versions as well like 1.31.1 1 .1 and 2 so we can go with the default but you can choose the one I mean I can for demo I can use this uh, this one as well but we are going to use the default one now so here we have options called automatic upgrade under the automatic upgrade we have a various options like enable with patch enable with stable so enable with patch is recommended so update the cluster to the latest patch version within the set minor version once we set the options automatic upgrade a case automatically upgrade our, our cluster to the latest and stable Kubernetes version when it's available so this uh, and this prog this upgrade process happens in the background I mean without any manual intervention so so here we are going to set disable uh, because we are going we are creating demo here so I'll 
keep the disable this option similar way we have a node security channel type the security channel type determine how your node level security update and update are released so here we have options called node image same way if you can see we have a various options called like none unmanaged security patch and node image so none it means your node won't have security updates applied automatically and you are responsible for all the security updates unmanaged OS updates are applied automatically through OS built-in patching infrastructure security patch node image so node image a case update the nodes with the new patch which will contain the security fix and bug fix on a weekly so we'll use the node image I mean like as I would say we, you can go with the node node image or else uh, we'll put the none for now for this demo uh, you can go in details and set the strategy for your AK cluster upgradation so now we'll click on next so once you click on next you will get options called node pool so while creating a case cluster node pool is a crucial concept what is a node pool node pool is a group of virtual machine that a case used to run the pods so here you can see we have a only one node pool which is the agent pool since I'm using a free free subscription so here I cannot create any uh, different node pool like you know but we are going to cover we are going to create another video where we will create two node pool cluster we will add windows cluster as well but here we are going to use the default one so if you can see here we have a, a node pool called agent pool just click on this agent pool so once you click on agent pool you will get the update the node pool options so if you can see you can make the changes here so right now it's a ubuntu linux you can make the changes as per your requirement if you can see here linux is required for system node pool since we are creating system node pool and this agent pool is belongs to system it always with linux you cannot create any system node pool with windows we'll keep the default setting as it is as i say is a node pool is a group of virtual machine so that virtual machine is going to use this size or specification you can change the skew as per your workload for demo we are going to keep this setting as it is now scale method so if you can see you can use the scale method you can choose between manual and manual or automatic scaling for your cluster auto scaling can help you that your cluster is running efficiently with the right number of nodes for the workload present so here in in this demo i am going to select manual because i have a, some limitation for size quota so we'll keep only two node count here and we'll update this one i make the changes now our node count is two now scroll down so what is this enable virtual node so enable virtual node in a case is one of the feature which will integrate container i mean like azure container instance with your cluster so once we enable this feature allow a case to automatically scale the cluster so for enable virtual node there is a one limitation if i mean it it works with only default node pool in a case cluster if you have any if you have a custom node pool virtual node uh, won't be able to scale to those uh, node pool so consider we can consider that one as well so we are not going to use we are not going to select this option in this demo so let me go with the default now here we are going to select the default encryption type now click on next so now networking under the networking 
we have a we have a container networking options under the content networking options we have a three options like azure cni azure cni node subnet and kubenet so we will go with the azure cni or or lay we are going to we will go with the default one now let's go next here the dns name prefix is already picked by the name you can define if you want to custom customize this dns uh, name prefix now network policy we will use the default one none but you can choose the uh, these two options as well whenever we create a AKS cluster so azure load balancer route and balance the traffic to your Kubernetes cluster. We will use, we will keep the setting. You cannot change, you cannot make the changes for this option. So it will come with the standard load balancer. Now click on next Azure Container Registry. So ACR so Azure Container Registry is manage manage private Docker Container Registry and that will allow you to store and retrieve the Docker Container images. So you can consider that it act as a, a, a repo for your images. Under this Azure Container Registry, we, we do not have any options. So we'll create a new a ACR here. So let's quickly create the new ACR for our demo. Click on create new. Here you need to define unique name. So I'll put the name my ACR repo zero i'll put one number something yeah here we, either we can use the existing resource groups i'll i'll use the existing resource group here and we are not going to use the admin user if you can see if we enable we can use the registry name as a username and admin user access key as a password to docker login to your container registry so we'll keep this option disable we are going to use standard but we have a various option for SKU you can use premium you can use basic as per your so I'll I'll use the standard one for this demo now click on OK now we have successfully set the ACR Azure container registry we'll keep all the below settings as as it is now click on next so under the monitoring you can define you can enable the container insight so let's say I'll, I'll show you that i mean like once you click here so container inside once you enable the container inside con container insight will inject the data to the log anti workspace and through that log anti workspace you can you can you can create some dashboard you can create some alert based on the data so here we are not going to use we are not going to enable the container inside but yeah i would recommend you can you can enable container inside to get more logs for the aks cluster now we'll click on next under the security here we have uh, options called workload identity so we'll we'll uh, use the default setting here yeah we'll keep the default setting as it is here you can if you want to configure azure key vault for to store the secret and uh, other details let's say then accordingly you can create enable the secret store here and you can store your secret so we are not going to use this option right now now click on next so this is the infrastructure resource group so name of the resource group that contain all the infrastructure resources associated with the cluster now click on next click on next so we have we have done with the configuration so let's just review the configuration once again so we have created resource group we have set the AKS cluster name we set the node pool one we have only we are using the default node pool we have a set the access uh, access policy so authentication we we set as a local account with the kubernetes rbac but you can 
use uh, Azure AD RBAC for authentication and remaining setting as it is. So now click on create. So now it's initializing deployment. We'll go to the deployment here. We'll see how it goes. So under the deployment, you we will see deep, now deployment is in progress. So we'll see here the resources are getting created. So this is the ACR deployment. My AKS cluster demo it's created. Yeah, here we go. Now we have a successfully deployed AKS cluster. So let's go to the resources and we'll see what other resources get created. Click on go to resource. So this is our AKS cluster, first AKS cluster. Cluster name is AKS demo. This is our AKS version. Currently we are using network configuration with Azure CNI, but you can create a your virtual network and you can define your virtual network here for the network configuration so let's quickly see what are the other features we have so networking part if you can see the standard load balancer is there and these are the policy adder service and network configuration is like this we will see what other resources is get created so let let's go to the resource group and under this resource group we will see what are the resources get created yeah here we have a container registry name here now click on here under this container registry you can store your images here these are the details repository permissions you can set the repository permission here these are the services and this is the repository this is the repo so if you can see it it's clearly saying that helps pull image faster from the AKS cluster so right now we do not have any image here but in the next video we will create one container image from that image we will create a pod into the AKS cluster yeah so let's go back to the cluster once again yeah let me click on Kubernetes resources under the Kubernetes resources if you can see click on namespace so these are the default namespace get created whenever you deploy the AKS cluster so default one always come with the default and these are the cube system cube public and cube node lease click on workload under the workload you will get a options call where you will understand the deployment so these are the deployments right now we have a deployment like core dns matrix server connectivity agent and these are the things under the pods <coughs> right now we have only default pods here but as i said in next video we will create one one image into the container registry from that image we will deploy one application through the pod that's it for today's video these are the simple steps to create a AKS cluster yeah but we'll in next video we will cover how to deploy pods how we can create how we can pull the image from the ACR container registry to create a application or to create a pod so that's it today's video if you found this video helpful please don't forget to share and subscribe our channel Thanks for watching.